CES 2026 is right around the corner and fellas there's a ton of leaks and rumors suggesting in fact I'll throw some on screen right now that yeah we'll be seeing the RTX 50 Super Series very soon but with deals going on potentially as well as we're going to the holiday season should you buy now or should you wait? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So I wanted to absolutely smash the old dead horse of should you buy a GPU now or should you wait? I know every month that passes people are constantly asking that question. However, I feel like it couldn't be any more pertinent than it is now. I mean, we are so close to a potential alleged RTX 50 Super Series which could be coming out. And yet, if you look at Amazon, Best Buy, etc., you're probably gonna start noticing a ton of deals as Black Friday starts to creep up on you. And in fact, I'll go ahead and throw a chart up on screen now of how GPU prices have been steadily declining for quite some time. There was a period of time where they were insanely overpriced. We are now way, way down at the bottom here on this chart. And GPUs are actually affordable now and there haven't even been massive sales yet, which to be clear, I don't expect, you know, bar bargain bin basement deals on GPUs. That hasn't happened for quite some time, but I do suspect you'll start getting more free games, you know, maybe $50 off, $100 off, depending on the product. Definitely you'll be seeing at the very least, pretty much everything at MSRP I would expect, maybe not AMD in the US as they've been really struggling to get Radeon cards at MSRP, but definitely on the Nvidia side, yeah, I suspect you'll be getting pretty decent deals on their GPUs pretty soon. So let's talk about the 50 series as a whole. And if my thoughts have changed on buying one now or waiting. So let's start with the RTX 5090, the most insanely expensive GPU. Should you buy now or should you wait for an RTX 5090 Super? Well, I haven't heard any rumors that have convinced me that an RTX 5090 Super is actually coming out. They certainly could make one. The RTX 5090 is not the full GPU and it could be a little bit faster for sure. I mean, we're talking another 10, 15% faster. Definitely they could achieve that. In fact, they've made, I believe, professional GPUs that pretty much do that already, but they're super expensive. They're not geared towards gaming. The coolers, maybe they're not gonna be as good as some AIB models. You get the point, but I don't expect an RTX 5090 Super to come. So if you're considering buying a 5090, yeah, I wouldn't wait if you see one at a good deal, especially if it's under MSRP, as expensive as that card is. If you're in the market for one, I would just pick one up this holiday season. And by the way, I'll have affiliate links to any deals I can find on these cards in the description below. But what about the RTX 5080? Would I wait at this point? And look, the RTX 5080, it's probably only gonna be, you know, 5%, maybe 10% faster for the 5080 Super. The 5080, should be the fully unlocked GPU already. So yeah, you're not gonna get a whole lot more performance out of it. They can overclock it, I think they will. Rumors suggest they're moving from 16 to 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Would I wait for 24 gigabytes of VRAM? If I had to wait a year, definitely not. But if it's gonna be just you know one or two months and then I can get a significant jump in VRAM, a little bit more performance and likely the same price of 999, well then yeah, actually for the RTX 5080, at this point, I would just wait and see, at least wait and see if you hear anything at C. CES, unless you're desperate for a GPU. Look, if you're desperate for a GPU, sure, the extra VRAM performance is nice, but is it gonna change your life? Well, probably not. I mean, maybe? Anything could happen, but the RTX 5070 Ti, let's talk about that one. So the 5070 Ti Super, I think you're gonna see a similar thing. I don't think you're gonna see many more cores out of this thing. I think you're gonna see the same 70 cores that you're seeing on the 5070 Ti. And I think the boost clock is just gonna jump way up. So maybe again, another five, 10% more performance, maybe 15% if you're lucky. Would I wait for that as well as going from 16 gigabytes to 24 gigabytes of VRAM? Once again, if it was many, many months to wait, I'd say no, but at this point in time, 
I believe it would be the same price of $749. And with it just being one or maybe two months away and until potentially start hearing some concrete information on these cards, yeah, I would go ahead and wait unless you see an insane deal on the RTX 5070 Ti. I mean, if you find that thing like well below MSRP, yeah, I would definitely pick that up, but I don't suspect that'll be the problem. And then the RTX 5070, I would definitely wait to buy unless you're seeing this thing for like 400 bucks because look, if you need a GPU now, sure, go ahead and buy it. You can always wait for a new GPU. You get the idea. But look, I think they are going to replace the 5070 with the 5070 Super. And that upgrade, I think it's going to be significant. Now, in terms of core count, they're going to be going from 48 to 50, according to the leaks and rumors. However, the boost clock will also be going up. So you should get a compounding effect there with more cores and more clock speed. But more importantly, you'll be going from 12 gigabytes, allegedly, to 18 gigabytes of VRM. Now, that's the difference between maybe you're running, you know, high textures, something like that, maybe in some games, even medium textures, to now suddenly you can definitely max out every game. That's not the case with the 5080 or the 5070 Ti. So definitely, definitely, I would wait to hear at least some more information before pulling the trigger on the 5070, unless the deal is insane this holiday season. So there you have it with the RTX 50 series. Definitely wait for the 5070. Maybe it probably, I would wait for the 5070 Ti and 5080 at this point in time, because I think we're gonna be so close to a super series, assuming it's still coming out and hasn't been canceled, but I think you'll find that out pretty soon. And then with the RTX 5090, definitely don't wait. There's not gonna be a 5090 super from what I understand. I would just go ahead and pick that up if you see a deal this holiday season. And I'll be sure to let you guys know if I do find any insane deals that are worth picking up and not waiting for, but I don't think that'll be the case for most GPUs this year. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think there will be insane deals this year, or do you think it'll be worth waiting for a potential RTX 50 Super Series? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.